So I know by now you've heard all about how real estate syndications are a great investment with some of the best returns and benefits. But when I talk to people, what they really want to know is what are the earnings like? And in this overall investment structure, what's in it for me? Hey there, I'm Mike Deaton with Deaton Equity Partners. And today I'm excited to talk to you about just how real estate syndications are structured. Do you dabble in real estate already? Do you have other investments under your belt? Well, while no two deals are exactly the same, there are a couple of commonly seen foundational deal structures to be aware of. One structure uses what's called a preferred return, and the other uses a structure known as a straight split. As an example, let's say a deal offers an 8% preferred return, sometimes called a PREF, this means that any and all of the returns up to and until the initial 8% go to the limited partner. The general partners don't get any of that first 8%. This type of deal structure incentivizes the general partners to work extra hard and make sure the deal will attain earnings above and beyond that 8%. Now there's never a guarantee in this structure that you're going to get 8%, but it's as close to a guarantee as you can get. This structure, as it's known, using a preferred return hurdle, is a good method of aligning the general partner's interests with those of the limited partner. It can also be used in combination with something called a waterfall structure. And to help explain how a waterfall deal structure, let me give you an example. So let's say you come across a deal with an eight pref, a 70-30 split up to 14, and thereafter a 50-50 split. So what this means is that the first 8% of any returns, the preferred return is allocated 100% to the LPs. And then for returns over and above that 8%, up to 14%, those get split 70-30, which means 70% goes to the limited partners and 30% gets allocated to the general partners. That's not bad, right? Well then, as a final waterfall, any and all returns above 14% get allocated on a 50-50 split. So what this does is it really incentivizes the general partners or the active partners to dig in and make sure that we're all getting really good returns because the higher the overall returns are, the more money that they get paid. But the downside is this can be really confusing for investors to comprehend and even harder to track. So another common investment split that we see is commonly returned to as the straight split. There's no fanciness about it. It's just a straight split across the board. So for example, let's say there's an 80-20 split. All the cash flow distributions, regardless of percentages, are going to be split 80% to the limited partner investors and 20% to the general partners. No matter if the property earns 8% or 20 or even one, the same split stands for the profits at the sale. 80% to the limited partner investors, 20% to the general partners. It's straightforward, easy to calculate, and easy to distribute. No fuss. But there's really no monetary incentive for the general partners to strive for excellence. Now I want to point out one thing across both these types of investment payout structures. Pretty much across any deal structure that you'll see with a real estate syndication. The majority of the returns are going not to the deal sponsors, but to the limited partner investors. It's highly common to see a 70-30 split, if not even an 80-20 split. Sometimes it can go even higher. Depends on the deal size, type of deal, and the members. So as a passive investor, I'm getting 70 or 80%, maybe even more of these returns just for investing my money and really doing nothing else. I'm just sitting back and enjoying the ride and the returns. I supply a chunk of the equity, I don't have to do anything, and I get 70 to 80% of the returns. So for me, as a passive investor, I love this because it allows me to really diversify my portfolio. I get into a variety of different markets, different asset classes, while spending my time on other things, like hiking. Then the active partners, they're using their expertise and earning their payouts based on their effort, the sweat equity. They also typically put in some of their own capital into the deals, and this puts a little more skin in the game for them. Now you may be surprised to discover how real estate syndication deals are structured in favor of the passive investors. You get to leverage the experience and the effort of the experts and they help generate large stable returns 
while they get to leverage you for equity. I'm all for compensating the experts for their sweat equity. What about you? Drop me a comment below. Tell me what you think. For an even deeper look into actual deals, find the link in our description below and join our passive income investing group. Once you've joined, you'll receive access to actual deals, live webinars, and even get to see some example returns of some current and past projects. All right, it's time for me to sign off, but before I do, please make sure you've subscribed to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video and know someone that could benefit from a real estate syndication and great passive income returns, please hit the like button, share this video with them. Again, I'm Mike Deaton with Deaton Equity Partners, and I love helping you create passive income for life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.